I need to stop paper clip, make it straight, and as close as possible. Just the uh, this thing is pretty tight and small, so you can make a triangle or wherever you want it in. But the point is to make it uh, straight and even and close as you can. So it look right here. This thing have four holes: two on the top, two on the bottom. The one that you want to connect to is the one on the bottom. So the one the See the one that's kind of darker, so that be the one that you want to connect to. So once you connect to the, I can't do it one hand, but pretty much connect to it, you turn the ignition to two. So be one, two, two click, and then the light will turn on for like five to six seconds, and it turn off. And then the moment it turn off, you pretty much take it out, and then turn back on. You put it in. And then turn off, you take it out, flash twice, turn off for one second, and then turn off, you turn, and then turn off the ignition, plug everything back in, and see how it goes. So, let's see here, let me just zoom out. So many guys. Is it focusing? Alright. So I'm gonna put it inside. So I'm connecting right now. Turn the ignition. Two click, one, two. Wait for it. Disconnect, get ready to connect again. Connect. Disconnect, get ready again. Flash twice. Connect. Alright, so now I know what was the issue. Why my lights keep staying on. I don't change to see everything. So pretty much the issue was the auto model, the O two to O four uh, airbag and seat buckle. I didn't re research why, but I guess it's different for the O five O six. So I can see I have my O five O six from my old seat right here. It's a seat buckle that I took off. The airbags over here. I'll put this side just in case. You know, for safety. So I'm going to try with the all 5 or 6 buckle and airbag. <clears throat> so I'll be using the paper clip again. I'll just turn it off. Connect, connect, disconnect, flash, connect, and it's gone. Just like that. Back then, the light would just stay on. It just come back on. That do it again and 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 didn't work. So just a research. Of course, I did the airbag only. Cause that's like easy to take out, and then it didn't work, so I just take out this whole seatbelt buckle. You could unplug this one, you can see. You could unplug it, but for this thing, it's underneath. I'm not sure it's just connect or what. Cause you have more the seatbelt, you have to move uh, the two screw. And remove this thing. So I might just do that. If not, then I'm just gonna just replace uh, this one with this one. Because one thing I noticed the belt is just nice and smooth. But it's too full, cool. it's like you know, to push it. It's not. I can see what thing. You can just like slide in. Why here it gets stuck so you have to put you can see I'm doing right now, put pressure on it. Compared to this one, just pop. So I'm not sure if that just my seatbelt or whatnot, but yeah, that's how you solve the issue if you're using the automotive seat on your 0506.
for the O2 to O4 RSX, you will have an issue. But maybe you want the O5, O6, see? So you have to put your O2, O4 air back and seat buckle onto your new seat. So you get what I mean? So, example, um, my car is the O5, O6, so I'm using the old seat, the older model seat. So I just use my my uh, O5, O6 seat belt buckle and air bag. And if you're using, if you call the O2, O4 and you want the O5, O6 seat, you have to use your uh, O2, O4 seat bu uh, buckle and air bag, pretty much. And I'll show you how to move the air bag and everything. But yeah, that pretty much stop the issue. Okay, so I'm gonna see, show you how to uh, change the seat. So for the front seat, you have four bolt. So it won't be right here, which you just take it out like that. So it'll be two tabs right here. You can see, so you just pull up and then it will Feel that bow and sit down on this side. Right here. Yeah. There'll be two on the bottom. So, focus one right here. And the other one right here. So, I'll put the way up. much. Two ones on the on the ball are loose. Just to see. <laughs> Up like that. And then you you have three wire that you need to unplug. And I'll show you a closer view on how it looks like. Alright, so next next I can show you how to remove the D wire, so we have two yellow, one gray, the two yellow, I mean two, one yellow, one gray, the big one is, is for a seat belt. And this will be for your airbag. So I can stop the easiest one. So just the gray one, you can see you have to tap right here. So all you do is just push on it and pull out. Next one will be the second one. So this will be the big looking one. I can see the point doesn't work, so all you do is have this called three, three uh, yellow thing. One on the end, one in the middle, the one to connect to your seat. So all you do is just grab this one, that the flat area. Just grab it and pull it away. No, the opposite way. So you see how you got the flat area? You pull this thing. Focus to pull it. And it should pop out. Like that, you can see. So just pull this thing back, and it pop out. Next will be this one. So this one have a yellow, I mean not yellow, white tab. You see. So all you do is just push it, or you push an end or for the middle. So push it all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. Push it. And let that and pop. And that's how you disconnect all the three wire from your airbag. Alright, so here are all the tools that you need to uh, get your airbag and your uh, what's called seat buckle. You see, that's my old one, my airbag's right here. See, but go ahead. So, no. so first thing you need a ratchet, a 10mm for the airbag, a 14 for the seat bucket, and it's flathead to help you. And you also need a screwdriver, which I'll be using in my impact wrench. And if you want to change, you see my own is color 10. If you if you change that super cover, you need a T9 storage, which could be this one. Let's see if I can focus on it.
Yeah, so that's the one in the CPL covering and this thing. Which you have to take it out. If you don't plan to replace it or it's, if it's is black already, then you could just leave it as is. So you can see. Pretty much all that you need. So here's the new scene that I got. You can see the airbags there here. That's the there. And here's my own one. They're all five, six. There's an airbag. The seat bag is gone. So pretty much it's pretty simple. You just unzip. And then in here. That hole. You had the 10 miles nut. Then you remove. Then you remove all the wire. For this thing, the zipper buckle will be 14, and a screwdriver here, and it's popping out, and to be much it. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you now. So, first, you grab the zipper by the airbag side. So it'll be all in on top. So you have to reach from the bottom. Like that and pop it like that. So I'll just be using two two pin. You can paper clip or whatever. Just make it easy for me. And just snap. Looking here, I'm trying to shunt that. Like, yep, you can see it. So, I right did. So, that would be your timber that you need to take out. So, next, thing you're gonna remove this tab. And this one, it's all you do is pour up. So it will slide. You do just angle it. And then push it up and then down. Yeah. I'm gonna just let uh, let's see, so, okay. so there'll be that tab out there, the small in the middle. So you just all do just lift it up and just pour it. And for this one, there be this thing right here. So you just go from behind. So you just go from behind and then it'd be this tap watch. So it'd be this one. So it'd be this one. So can, yeah, so it'd be this one here. So I do put this one to be like this and you just put this one down. Once it pulled down, it should come off. So you have to, so it's stuck on tightening. So you just pull this tab down. 